Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're talking about Destiny 2. Specifically, we're talking about which pulse rifles to be using in next season. Because if you guys don't know, the new barrier mods got introduced and it's going to be using pulse rifles and scout rifles. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this video by the end of today. That way I can have it posted immediately. That way you guys can start farming some of the guns that I'm telling you to farm right now. Specifically two guns, a scout rifle and a pulse rifle that are only here for the undying for the undying season. So hopefully you guys can get those weapons because if you get when you guys see the roll that I got on one, it, it it's really gross. It really is. So let's get let's start off with the kinetic slot, which will be Redrick's broadsword. Now I know a lot of people are using the Redrick's broadsword right now because it did get a buff this season and it still feels really good. It's hits hard as fuck. But what's really cool about it is that once you proc Outlaw, you you unlock Desperado. Desperado increases your rate of fire by a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot. It's really stupid. So what's really cool about it is this combination with a barrier mod will destroy shields so much faster. It's going to be gross how fast you're going to be able to destroy some of this shit. So... One of my favorite things that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be proccing Outlaw, getting Desperado, and then just immediately destroying a, a Barrier Shield Knight or whatever. It's going to be really good for a lot of things, but because we're going to be using bar Barrier Mods, this is why Redrick's Broadsword was like the first one that I thought of because immediately, once Outlaw's procced, get that shield down, kill everything faster. It, that's the thing. The broadsword is so great because it increases your DPS by so much that this is just a no-brainer. You need to get you need to have this. If you guys didn't farm this, it's still gonna be here. It's it's not the hardest thing to get. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, but it's the most lengthy because you have to do what what is it? Three resets for for a crucible, regular crucible, not not comp. So it is lengthy it'll take you a while but i promise you it's just gonna it's gonna get better overall because it got a buff this season and it's gonna be good in the next season might never know it might get another buff because this gun's just getting better and better so in my opinion you guys should get this especially since you guys could get a bunch of stuff with this you guys get could get extended mag alloy magazine appended mag all of the different rounds like the high caliber armor piercing ricochet rounds flared magwell and light mag so overall not only that but you can also get the different barrels so in my opinion you guys should really try to get this if you guys already have it go do a bunch of crucible and start farming this give shacks all the tokens get a get a roll that you think is good so i ended up getting one with this extended mag which was really good especially since reload speed on this really doesn't matter considering you have outlaw and that's how you're supposed to be using this weapon so it does bump down your reload speed, but it does give you 30% more magazine size. So with a magazine uh, perk or mod on it, I ended up getting mine up to like 45 shots. So yeah, I can't, I can't love this weapon enough. It's going to be amazing next season. And I already have my weapon. I already have my, my roll down. So get this weapon. It's amazing. You'll thank me later. So the next weapon we're going to be talking about is Bygones. Now, if you guys don't know what Bygones is, Bygones is basically the first weapon or the first pulse rifle that Gambit ever sold. And not only that, but actually Drifter actually sells his own curated role, if I remember correctly. So if you guys just don't want to farm that shit, then just, I think, what is it? Level one? Or you have to rank, you have to complete one infamy rank with with the drifter and i mean like from guardian to legend if i remember correctly and then you'll be able to buy it if i remember correctly i don't remember off the top of my head right now but he does sell it and he sells the curated role which is full auto trigger system with kill clip that's the one i have but you can get stuff like rampage kill clip high impact reserves opening shot and range finder for the first column and for the second you can get full auto trigger outlaw Head Seeker, Slide Shot, and Under Pressure. For me, I think a good roll would be like Rampage or Kill Clip with Fully Auto Trigger or Outlaw. For me, at least, because this is going to be mostly used for PvE. This, All this is going to be for PvE. For PvP, there's just oh different ones that, that you could use right now, honestly. But 
If not, most of these could also be used for PvP. But in my opinion, honestly, Bygones, the only reason I'm saying Bygones is because it's easy to use, it's easy to get, and the ease of use of Bygones is by far like the most thing I love about this gun. This gun's reliable, you'll start shooting it with it and you're immediately already gonna be like, oh, I already know how this gun feels. Because I know every, almost every Guardian has a fucking Bygones in their vault or in themselves. Like it's just, it's a good gun. I love this gun. This is why I'm saying you should get this gun because if you don't have it, then you're missing out. And if you do have it, you already know why people are missing out. So I'm not going to say much about Bygones because it just speaks for itself. So Bygones is a really w good weapon. You can get a lot of good mods on it. You guys probably see in the screen right now all the mods you can get on it. Honestly, don't sleep on this. Get this gun as fast as you can because it's a really good kinetic pulse rifle. So the next one is going to be Blast Furnace. So Blast Furnace for me, in my opinion, is one of the greatest pulse rifles in the game because it, ha it has an aggressive burst frame, which basically just means that it shoots four times instead of three like every other pulse rifle. But it's not just that. It's just, it's probably the easiest, and I mean, it's the easiest pulse rifle you can farm. If you want to get a really gross loadout, you can farm this easily. And when I say easily, I mean like, you have to do a few, like a bounty, and then after the bounty, you have to do a Season of the Forge Forge, and then after that you get a drop and it comes either curated or random world so it drops with a cute cool like a real like a for me in my opinion it drops with a lot of cool perks but for me i would be looking out for outlaw feeding frenzy quick draw or snapshot sites for the first row for the second row i'd probably just go for kill clip rampage or high impact reserves honestly i mean you could do Outlaw and Headseeker. That's not a bad role, but for me personally, I just don't care for Headseeker. Headseeker, in my opinion, is just very counterintuitive because I'm always trying to get headshots and Headseeker is just kind of like, you have to get a body, then a headshot to proc the damage. I'm like, that's stupid for me. So the only reason I'm saying this is a really good weapon is because it does, it has that four shot. So you can actually kill a lot of stuff really fast. If you guys are seeing the gameplay right now, I'm destroying shit really fast. The range on this can be stupid if you get really good rolls. If you get like a scope while you get like, I don't know, accurized rounds or ricochet rounds. This is probably the weapon you will be using in PvP, but it's also great in PvP, PvE, I mean, because the sheer amount of destruction this, this gun can have because it does four shots. If you have a a damage perk with it, it increases that all by x like by so much. Especially if you get something like like easy to use like kill clip or rampage. If you get feeding frenzy, even better. Feeding frenzy with rampage, in my opinion, is probably like the god roll for PVE because it's like effortless. Like just kill, and you'll always proc feeding frenzy. And rampage with a rampage mod on it bro you like there's you can go no you can't you can't go wrong with it honestly in my opinion this is probably one of my favorite guns unfortunately i don't have a role that i love the one i ended up getting was the one i ended up getting was outlaw and kill clip which i mean i'm not gonna lie it's a really good role but for me i would have loved feeding frenzy and rampage just because like i said it's very effortless you don't have to think about anything you just shoot and kill Especially if you have the rampage mod, it's literally just like just keep killing 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 so That's probably gonna be it for the kinetic slot. I mean, I do have a few honorable mentions like Chattering bone chattering bones If you guys don't know it's from the raid The last wish it's a really good pulse rifle. I really like it a lot My only downside is that it's not easily farmable That's why I don't put it on my list of like oh you need to get this because it is random, randomly acquired and randomly rolled, so for you to get like a god roll is kind of really annoying. It's the same thing for with pretty much any other pulse rifle from a raid. So like the new raid has a really good pulse rifle that also has an aggressive, aggressive burst frame. But unfortunately, yeah, that just farming for it and farming for a god roll if it's, an, if it's an raid, I probably will give it an honor, honorable mention, but I will never say like, you need to get this because 
it's just so annoying to farm. And even then, like, some of the ones I chose are annoying to farm as well. Like, Bygones is annoying to farm. Redrix is annoying to farm. But at least I can, like, just go in and just keep giving someone, like, tokens or just play a match. So, that's the first honorable mention. The next one's going to be Nightshade. Nightshade, in my opinion, should have gone up in the kinetic or in the it shouldn't have been in the honorable mention is what i'm trying to say because you can't farm this easily the only thing is you've had to do the bounty first and then the pool that zavala has is just so big it took me like almost 500 tokens just to get a chess piece so you trying to get that one nightshade that you want is really a bitch but i mean that's almost the same thing with Redrix. The only reason I put Redrix above Nightshade is because Redrix, it's PvP. You can literally turn your brain off with Strikes. It's like, for me, Strikes are horrible. I fucking hate it. It's really boring and just, it, it feels like chalk, like scratching on a chalkboard, like in my brain. So for me, I'd much prefer Redrix than Nightshade. Although I do have a, a few good rolls on my Nightshade. So the last honorable mention will be Go Figure. This weapon's amazing. It's the same thing like Blast Furnace. The fact that it's within the aggressive burst frame, which means it's going to, sh uh, every time you shoot, it shoots four bullets. The only reason I don't put it in the main three is because this one's probably the hardest to farm because it's a world drop. And in order for you to get like a really good roll, you'd have to put so much time or no time at all. It's RNG based. So that's why, like, I'll give it an honorable mention. It has a few good rolls that you can roll with. But ultimately, you have to get lucky. And that's the thing I'm just kind of avoiding. Like, all the ones I'm telling you is very easily attainable. Redrix is easy once you have complete the quest, obviously. If you don't have it completed, then replace Redrix with Nightshade because Nightshade you only have to complete 30 30 weekly bounties I think it was or something like that I don't remember not off the top of my head but 30 20 I don't remember but Nightshade is much easier than get than night than Redrix so you could probably switch it around but that's pretty much it for kinetics we're gonna be, go be going to energy pulse rifles now so the first one I'm gonna be talking about is obviously at hortative so guys i promise you you need to get this gun it's good it's really good you guys are going to be seeing in the gameplay right now that i actually got feeding frenzy and multi-kill clip i ended up getting this yesterday and i mean i remember the moment i got it i was like oh fuck yeah oh like it's it's literally like i jizz i was like oh my god yes because i know i know i know this is the god roll and once i started using it, i was like dude this is this is gross this is not even fun like this is nasty it's fun obviously but it's just i was so like distraught because i was like i didn't even know i was struggling before i had this gun so obviously the god roll for this weapon is gonna be multi-kill clip with feeding frenzy like hands down there's no competition the like i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's not as easy as like feeding frenzy and rampage because rampage you just have to keep killing 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 Feeding Frenzy, you have to think you're well, you have to think a lot more because Feeding Frenzy procs up to three times, but it only procs if you kill three in a row. So if you have like plus three and then you kill something else and reload, you're gonna have plus one now. So ultimately you're gonna have to think a lot more, have to really keep in mind how many slots you have. Not only that, but the time between you having to reload to proc a multi-kill clip is like two three seconds probably so you have to also remember like okay cool I, ha I have to kill this many people and then after that i have to reload in a certain amount of time before the multi-kill clip reload thing goes away so there's a lot of things to think about but once you get that get in that groove it's really just effortless because once you get in that groove it's literally just like you're having so much fun because you're ma like managing all these things together plus you're killing everything like dog i i put down like what uh, I put down a boss really fast with this and I was just having so much fun because it's ultimately it was just kind of stupid so I was like honestly like getting the footage for this gun specifically was a lot of fun for me so if I can tell you to like if you take anything away from this video get at hortative get this roll you'll thank me later because this gun is fucking amazing I love this gun I was farming it for a while and then lo and behold I got it and I was like yes oh my god dog 
my, my girlfriend was like, what's wrong? I'm like, nah, I just got a gun that I've wanted for, for forever. And she goes, oh, okay. And I was using it. I was just giggling like a fucking schoolgirl because this shit's amazing. So that's pretty much it. You guys can see what it drops with. But ultimately, Feeding Frenzy and Multi-Kill Clip. If you want to be spicy, Rampage is good too. I wouldn't, I like I said, I wouldn't say Heat Headseeker. Headseeker's, in my opinion, just garbage. But, I mean, you can do Dragonfly, High Impact Reserves, Range Finder. There's a bunch of stuff you can do with this gun. The gun's good. It's the only negative, and I said this on my what do you what to use after recluse nerf video is that the gun itself looks fucking gross and i really wish bungie made a skin for all the four weapons and i'm honestly surprised they didn't but i wish they did because i would use this gun probably all the time because this roll is really gross so that's pretty much it yeah uh well, let's get on to the next weapon this is probably one of my favorite pulse rifles since forever you guys will probably know once i say it you guys are gonna be like oh you're a fucking asshole of course it is because honestly it's gross now granted i'm gonna tell you guys right now on console it's gonna be hard to control on pc it's smooth as butter so it's claws of the wolf you guys probably already seen the gameplay i probably put it already but this gun is it, foul man it slaps homie like it's not even funny the rate of fire on this weapon is just redonkulous. It's stupid fast. Especially in PvP, it melts. It destroys. You You start shooting someone with it, they start freaking out. Because they're like, what the fuck is this laser beam? It's that fast. I've been killed by it without even reacting to it. Because I'm like, oh fuck. And then, dead. So, there's a lot of good rolls you can get with this. You can get snapshot sights, outlaw, slide shot field prep threat detector head seeker if you're if you feel like that that's only for the first slot second slot is rampage kill clip high impact reserves range finder fully full auto trigger system and then grave robber now if you were playing in forsaken i'm gonna tell you right now if you ended up getting the role that saladin was selling the god role which is outlaw with full auto system Yo, listen, y'all already know how how much that weapon slaps. But if you the, for the people who don't know, let me tell you, it's li it's a literal beam of death. I'm not even kidding. Like you guys probably see right now, it it just shoots for oh my god, guys. I'm sorry that I'm like not into numbers and all this. Like oh yeah, number like DP. Nah, I'm not like that. I'm more into like, is it fun? Am I gonna be giggling like a schoolgirl when I use this? my dude when you use this weapon i promise you you're gonna be school like you're gonna be giggling like a schoolgirl. this shit is fucking dope oh my god literally when i was using this the first time i got it in forsaken i was like this is this this shouldn't be allowed like what the fuck like i was so distraught i was like this is this is not cool i'm destroying too many people so if you have the role which is full auto system with outlaw oh man it's so good it really is it's words cannot describe how good it is but if you guys don't have that it's still as fast as that it's just you have to click it like that's the that's the beauty of it for me all you have to do is click and the laser beam happens but if you don't have that i mean i have a few rolls with outlaw and kill clip and it still slaps it still does the work it's just that for me i'm used to not clicking all the time i'm just one clip people die that's all i'm used to so for me in my opinion you guys need to farm this and don't even worry about it because saladin has been selling this like all the time when you give them the tokens so this one's probably not, not, gonna, not gonna be the easiest one to get because you do get random rolls and all this other shit and it has a big loot pool but the reason i'm saying to get this and i'm putting it in this list and not the honorables mentions is because of how much this weapon does slap it it's fucking nasty need to get this guys it's so good especially with the barrier mods that are going to be coming out my weapon it's going to have outlaw and full auto trigger this is going to be faster than redrix when it has desperado like that's how fast this weapon is so get it guys i know it's going to be annoying to get but you guys will thank me for it later because this shit is really just dumb it's so good so aside from that let's get on to the last one and then we'll get to the honorable mentions 
So the last one is Outlast. Now for me, the reason I put Outlast is because it's actually kind of easy to farm, but at the same time, not in a weird way. So Outlast, if you guys don't know, Outlast, if you guys don't know, is a pulse rifle that you get from either Gambit Prime or the Reckoning, specifically the week when the likeness of Oryx is there. So the reason I'm putting this weapon is because it's actually a really good weapon, drops with a few good rolls, and it's actually pretty easy to farm when the, the likeness of Oryx comes around. Or if not, you could also just farm Gambit Prime. Gambit Prime has a bunch of good weapons like Spare Rations, Last Man Standing, Soul Survivor, Night Watch, which I'm going to be talking about in the next video. And that's all. Spare Rations is a hand cannon, one of the best hand cannons in the game right now. Outlaw, Outlast, which is this one, obviously. Last Man Standing, which is a shotgun, an energy shotgun that can drop with one two punch. Soul Survivor, which is a really good sniper rifle that can drop with. A perk that does extra damage I forget what the perk is called right now I'll probably have it in the screen right now if I am not too lazy but it drops with a perk that you do more damage the more people is around you so if you're if you have soul survivor and you're using gambit prime you're playing gambit prime when you're next to everyone you'll be doing more damage night watch is also a really good scout rifle oh my god the the, the role that I have on my scout rifle it's gonna be the first gun I'll show you guys because it's fucking gross. So, yeah, look out for that video. But ultimately, the reason I put this is because Outlast is, Outlast is a really good weapon, but it also drops with a few good a few good rolls, and the loot pool around it is also really good as well. I think the only ones that aren't that good are the the SMG and the grenade launcher. Other than that, all the other weapons are god. Like they're good. They're really good. But the role that I would go for would probably be Feeding Frenzy and Kill Clip or Rampage. Now, you guys would probably see a pattern. I really, really like when my weapon reloads fast and gives me more damage. I almost rarely never like a weapon that doesn't do either of those. But if I had to choose and like, let's say I, I wanted a new weapon for my Warlock, I would probably do Feeding Frenzy and Demolitionist, to be honest with you, because... Demolitionist is a really good perk. And for my Warlock, I'll just, I just throw grenades with my Warlock more than any other class, to be honest with you. But that would probably be the only thing I choose outside from damage dealing perks like Kill Clip or Rampage. But yeah, Feeding Frenzy, Outlaw, and then Rampage, Kill Clip, or Demolitionist. Those are probably be the only ones I really look out for. I think the role that I ended up getting was like fully auto trigger with Demolitionist. So I'm okay with that. I like... I don't really mind it, but ultimately, Outlaws is a really good weapon. Farm it as fuck once uh, Likeness of Oryx comes out because he does drop a lot of cool stuff. He drops, if I remember correctly, he drops uh, the Spare Rations as well. And if you guys don't know, Spare Rations is great as well. Get that shit. I promise you guys, will, you will not be disappointed. But that's pretty much it for all the ones I recommend. The honorable mentions are actually pretty good. The only reason I put them as honorable mention is because they're either really annoying to farm or they're really hard to farm. So you guys will see in a minute why. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is Horror's Least. Now this is a pulse rifle that is in the same frame as Claws of the, of the Wolf. So this shoots really fast. The only reason I put it in the honorable mention is because the only way to get this weapon is you have to farm the Corrupted Nightfall, which is basically the the strike in the dreaming city so ultimately you're gonna have to run that one a lot of times before you get a, a, before you even get the weapon let's not even talking about a role that you like the role i ended up getting was fully auto trigger with high impact reserves if i remember no kill clip yeah the one i ended up getting was fully auto trigger system with kill clip and i thought that was a pretty good role i was like i'm okay with this role because i don't really care for any of the others because the first slot only drops with fully auto trigger system, Zen Moment, Head Seeker, Range Finder, and Under Pressure. The second one drops with Moving Target, Kill Clip, High Impact Reserves, Dragonfly, and Ambitious Assassin. So if I could choose which one I would prefer, I would probably go with fully auto trigger system or Range Finder. And then for the second slot, probably 
kill clip or moving target maybe to be honest kill clip's probably the best one in that in my opinion though so that's the only reason why i put it in the honorable mentions because this one's actually annoying to get the next one is right side of wrong and this is the same thing i said about go figure the only reason i put this in the honorable mentions is because this is a world drop so this one's going to be annoying to get it does drop with a lot of cool things and the same thing as go figure this is part of the aggressive burst so it does shoot four bullets once you pull the trigger so a lot of things are good about this i have a few good rolls on it but that's because i've been playing since forsaken so i've just kept a few of them so that's the only reason why i didn't put it up but if you guys really do like it and want it i mean by all means go ahead maybe maybe the bounties that spider sells still give these weapons because back in forsaken that happened so yeah unfortunately if you guys know how to farm it let me know in the comments below but that's the only way i would know and the last one is annoying and hard to get at the same time so it's gonna be premonition and premonition is basically in the same slot as redrix so it means it, it hits hard but it does shoot slower but the only thing that is really annoying about this is not only are the perks kind of underwhelming but you only get this from the third encounter of pit of heresy the dungeon or through the planetary challenge for the lectern of enchantment so unfortunately there's only two ways to farm this they still haven't dropped the the farmable thing from that weapons i, I don't remember what it's called but I don't think they'll ever drop it so the only way to get this weapon is from the third encounter or the lectern of en enchantment so there's no enchantment or whatever it was called that had to be connected to this one so unfortunately not only are the rolls not that great but it's hard to get like the one i ended up getting was what was it outlaw and head seeker yeah yeah and for me immediately i was like all right cool i hate this gun already because ultimately, I would have been happier with Outlaw and Kill Clip, Outlaw with Demolitionist. Hell, I would have chosen Outlaw and Dragonfly, but it gave me the one I least like. So for me, I won't be using this because I don't like that role. If I get a better role in the future, probably. The only reason I put it up in the list is because it hits hard and it's fun and it's really good. But you, you, only, you can only farm it like two times a week, apparently. So for me, in my opinion, it's once it becomes more farmable, get it for sure get a good roll in it but that's pretty much it that's all the pulse rifles that i had in my head i've actually not my head i wrote all these down like like looking at all the pulse rifles and honestly i think this this list is pretty good to start off with guys let me know if you guys have any have any other pulse rifles recommendations that i may maybe skipped on if you guys want to check out my social media outlets links are in the description below let me know what you guys are going to be doing for the next season. I know I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. I'm going to be doing a lot of playing. I'm really excited, but also kind of hesitant to see how this season is going to be. So overall, yeah, I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think about the season and I will see you guys later.